Good afternoon. Welcome back to the music, music scrap, the musical scrapper. It's still a stormy Monday here on the east coast of Canada. The Maritimes are officially closed and have been closed all day. Um, roads in southern New Brunswick and parts of central New Brunswick have been closed for emergency vehicles only. So we're closed. And uh, so I have some watercolor paper. I'm going to make a journal. Oops, hold on. I'm going to use a Coptic stitch to bind this journal. And I'm using hot press. I have a cold press um, watercolor journal. But I need to really work with uh, hot press watercolor paper too to find out the differences. So I needed a little journal. And I like landscape, so I'm binding it landscape. So each signature I have here, two sheets of paper because this is 300 GSM, 140 pound watercolor paper. So more than two sheets in a signature would really mess it up. And I have these Seven Gypsies book covers. And yes, it's meant to be bound the other way, but eh. So I'm going to actually bind it this way. So I used 11 by 14 paper, but I ended up with a 14 by inch and a quarter. Hey, fancy! Um, paper left over. So I'm going to make these into some watercolor bookmarks. So for now, I'm going to just do the background. So I'm going to wet them. And I'm going to just use maybe two color combinations. I want it nice and wet. Nice and wet. Oops. Okay. I'm going to actually, I'm just going to turn it a little bit to corner, kitty corner here so that I have enough long enough space. All right, so um, let's just start with two colors. So let's use, I love cerulean blue. So let's just add some cerulean blue here. And let's use this red. And that's not the nice red. Dang it. The wrong one. Let's fix that. What I'm going to do a little more blue down here. See, it's hardly, they're hardly even flowing into each other. And they really should be flowing a lot better than that.
Don't worry, it'll uncurl once it dries. blend as much as I wanted it to. But that's okay. I'm going to try something. I'm going to use the same two colors on the inside of this. I'm just going to wet it with my one inch brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my cerulean blue. Okay. And I'm just going to brush on some cerulean blue like this like a wash then I'm going to with going to take this lovely rose color and see what happens See how it lifts? That's because of the cotton and because I really don't know how to work the water. Don't know how to do it. Let's dry that. Peaches and rice. I must say I've never heard of that combo. Oh, got a bloom happening here. Get rid of some of this water. Probably too late. I wasn't watching closely enough as it started to dry. Got to go back in and pull those petals. Okay, you guys are making me hungry. I gotta make supper. Still have to make supper.
gosh. So. Actually, I think that was magenta. That's what I was using today. It was magenta, not the rose. I think, yeah, it was magenta. I gotta find my, I have, I have a swatch made for my um, palette. I just don't know where I, I had it in the palette at one point, but it's not there now, so I don't know where it went. Uh, okay, so, so there's one. And I will stamp something on it. I think it's a little long. So I think what I'm going to do is... Oh! Gosh! I scared myself. Sorry, guys. do is it's a little too long so I'm gonna actually trim off the bottom and I am also going to Right, so I like to make one of the flaps different so this will be the front with the flag flap so that when you put it in your book this front flap goes on the page you're you've left off on I'm gonna keep these because you never know I might be able to use them in a journal page or something Sorry, Jim. <laughs> Me too. I'll stamp, you know, read or some kind of, you know, quote or something on that. Let's see. What shall I do for edge? I think I'm going to edge it with this. Open my blue, my new blue one. Well, it was new back in like, what, October? Cobalt blue archival ink pad and cobalt blue. Okay, see you later, CB. Welcome back, Fancy. Thanks for coming, CB. So I'm going to go around the edge. One moment, I need to get stamps. Just a second. <sighs> mm. 
Ugh, sorry. I've got my tech stamps here. It's just that this other stuff on top of it. here. Uh. Oh, okay. I can't remember what this... Where's the one? Oh, I could use that one. But just a moment. I want to see what this, I need a block. There we go. <clears throat> okay, hold on to get my letters here. Her, E, A, D. before I put it down on the floor. I don't need to have to pick up all those alpha stamps. Alright, first of all, I want to see what is on this stamp. This is just some straight ones that I have that I'm going to fold in half. To do the same thing for and the next time I have a craft sale I'll take them and oh here's a story that's what it says okay all right I thought that was my text to stamp, but it isn't. I do have a stamp. Just a moment here. Mm. Ouch. Sorry. Is my text to stamp here or not? No. Not yet. Not and I mean my background text stamp. This is a box of odds and ends that still have to go back in place that I'm looking through here. The music one. Use that. Okay. No. Did you tweet her, Eileen, and see? Because she'll just be. She's two hours ahead of me. So it's only five o'clock there. So she's probably just getting home from school now so if you text her or tweet her I mean you might she might answer all right let's see how well all right what did I do with that other piece? oh here it is help if I put it upside right. I gotta get it 
good and juicy and work in here before I put it on the real thing. Not that it has to be perfect. I don't necessarily want it perfect. Oh, I should put the... I think I'm going to have to do the word in black for it to show up. And then I'll do the... Alright, so... Sorry, am I on screen here? That is the question. Let's cover the blue until I'm done with my black. Let's zoom in. Apologize if you're watching the recording. I hope you fast forwarded past some of the stuff. That's what the buttons are for on the bottom of your player. Alright. <laughs> well, I know, Joan. I'll pretend I'm talking to you guys instead of myself. <laughs> uh, at least I admit it. Mom would never admit that she ta sp talked to herself. So. Well, I better do it from bottom to top because I don't want to run out of space. Well, I think I'm going to be done early tonight, so... This should be my new pad. I should be using... Uh, I should have used my Versafine. I have to call mom also. Because she'll forget that my sister... Oh, she has a terrible headache? Oh, okay. Thanks, Eileen. Maybe you should stream then, Eileen. Ha, ha, ha. I should check this uh, just in case. Oh no, it's a message from Orla. Okay. That's Orla. Orla, aren't you watching me live? She's sending me a Facebook message. Just teasing. I think she's still here. She was earlier. get a piece of cardstock to go under here or paper something <clears throat> it's permanent so it won't really hurt the wood but Then inside, I need to put okay. All right, I've got big ones. Where are my small ones? Oh, 
All right, where did you go? I'm gonna oh I'm gonna try something on one of these. I'm gonna try something. Let's see what happens. Okay, I don't know where my small ones are, so what I'll do, I think, is I'll see if I can cut these ones in half, because I don't need this big a one. So if I cut it in half. So these are just dollar store magnet pieces. Put the other piece there. large but if you just take them with your camera they should just they should go through no problem all right so then when you're reading your book when you're reading your book and you need to take a rest you put this over your book oh this these magnets oh, I don't know if they're gonna hold I may have to, uh, I actually have some better magnetic sheets. I thought these would work, but they're not strong enough to hold through. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, yeah. They'll hold. Okay. So... That is how I make my bookmarks. So let's do another one. Did anybody see where I put the cut? Oh, there it is. I have an idea for my next one. Move this out of the way, and I'm gonna want this to be near. So let's do. Let's get one of these. I don't know if this will work because I'm using watercolor, but I'm gonna try something. Hey, Ella! Hello, hello! Are you gonna stream tonight? Cause Debbie can't. Oh, Ella! I decided not to do it on stream because I can't get close enough to do a good job of what I need to do. So, no. So I did not do my angel today. I did a landscape instead, Orla. Or I mean, uh, Ella. I did this landscape. Whoops. Sorry. There's the sky. So did that landscape instead. But uh, Debbie can't stream today, Alice. So I'm just wondering if you're going to. Instead. Oh, okay. I just thought since Debbie can't, she has the headache. kind of dirty water there Jean I should have just spritzed it would have worked better but anyway I 
All right, so what I'm going to do is... I want kind of a subtle, so I'm going to use my cadmium orange. Now I'm going to keep that wet and I'm going to take this mesh and I'm going to use my red here. I don't know if this is going to work. This is just a test. Don't know if it'll work with watercolor. We shall see, right? I want to see if I get a little texture here with my red. It's going to be very subtle because it's my, it's a very ready orange. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, no, see. I knew that would happen because obviously it's going to run together, right, Jean? So let's just make it work. I'll try something else. Let's do that as layer one. Well, I got ahead of a headache today by taking some Advil yesterday and this morning to stay ahead of a headache coming. <laughs> That's what I did after having the headache last week uh, with the storm that went through. All right, he good. Yes, it is fancy. It is hot pressed, and I don't like it. I don't like working on it nearly as much as cold pressed, but I've got it, so I'm going to use it. Maybe I'll get used to it, but. So what other color will look nice on this for contrast, you guys? Can't use purple because there's too much. That'll give me brown with that orange because there's too much yell uh, yellow in that orange. So can't use purple. Can't really use blue either. Go ahead. I have lots of dumb questions. I might have some dumb answers for you, Orla. Go ahead. 
Yeah, exactly, Fancy. That's what I said. With cold press, you get more movement off your pigments. Yeah. So, like, I'm doing this, and I'm expecting it to move, and it doesn't move for me. Yeah. Watercolor paper? Uh, yeah, for watercolor paints. Uh, or not because it's less, abs it's, um, less absorbent, or more absorbent. Anyway, it has a different absorbency than your regular paper. It allows the water to move and the paint. I know, Eileen likes hot press better, but this is another area that she and I disagree on. There are a few of those. All right, so I need to do the inside. I still had orange on there, as you can see. That's okay, because that's what color I'm using. Cad red, I think this is. Cad red, medium hue, I think. I'm running out of water. So after I finish this ta this uh, bookmark, I am going to be finished for the evening. Maybe Jen wants to stream since Debbie can't. Travis? Oh, you can, yes, Travis, you definitely can use it like mixed media paper, but I don't know why it's too, it's so much more expensive. I don't use it. I'm not going to use it for acrylics or mixed media because it's a lot more expensive than mixed media or regular cardstock, which I can use acrylic paints with, so. Eileen for for definitely for those people who do stamping and watercolor you know most definitely if you're going to stamp something and use it for a card definitely but for doing watercolor landscapes and other stuff like that no most definitely if you're paint if you're stamping You get more, Dee Dee says you can get more detail with this blue paper. Yeah, if so, if you're doing like, if you're doing, um, if you're doing like a watercolor portraits and stuff, um, yeah, you're probably gonna want, going to want to use, um, hot press because you can get more detail because you have, excuse me, you have more control over your paints. So, most definitely, if you're doing portraits, that's another uh, point where the, you know, hot press is likely an advantage. Oh, you use the cheap watercolor paper. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, Ella, at my Michaels, the only hot press they have is in the large sheets. They never have any other color. I've ordered this. I order this online. So, 
like Dick Flicks Online will have it. Or Jerry's Artorama or wherever you want to order from. Oh, see, our, my mic's Eileen doesn't have the Arches Hot Press, no. All right, so I want to cut off about the same amount as I cut off last time. Almost a square, not quite. <laughs> just so that if I use these in a journal, just about, approximately. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to do the front, decide which I want to be the front. I think I like this for the front. So I'm going to cut up the center. Then cut from the corner up to that point, from the other corner up to that point, and yay, I've got a flag on that, so that that's your front for your bookmark. I'm not going to use those magnets because I'll use my other good magnets that's in my drawer. I think it's in my drawer. I don't think I have any right here, so and let's see so i'm going to stamp the reed again where did my all right i can close this oh i got in the wrong oops better put it back in the right spot gene because i'm going to close that way there we go okay so i've got this cool all right what color Am I going to stamp the ooh, contrast with? Let's see, I've got um, I've got a sepia here. Sepia should look good for so this is a um, line and dot stamp. Oops, let's get the <clears throat> don't need that in there anymore. So I'll just do a practice stamp here so you guys can see. So it's a dot and line stamp. Whoa. making a lot of noise here. <sighs> so I'm making these mixed media by adding some stamping ink. And then with black, I'm going to use the Versafine for my black just because, oh, well, maybe I will. Oh, yes, there it is. It's like, where's my black one? I'm good and hungry now. Oh, yay, Travis. Hey, Kathy. Oh, see, there's... Now, that's what I'm talking about. When you want a good... 
stamped especially for text. You can't use it over acrylic. This is watercolor, so it will work. And this is, I'm just going to off stamp it. It's permanent ink, so you don't have to worry about it. Leave your stamp on your paper for, you know, 15 seconds or so, so that uh, it will pick up the ink. I'm going to use a sepia for around the edges. Black would be just a little more dramatic than I want. It's mostly just to get rid of the white at the edge. a sponge to get down in there but I'll add the there we go I'll add the magnet later it's in my drawer here so archival works well on raw polymer clay ooh yes because I have to oh that's the project I was going to go okay my project for Thursday in case I forget I am going to make some clay tiles to cover this cute box. Yes, it's very cute as an elf tummy, but I'm going to cover it with clay tiles and then paper on the inside. I'll change the paper because I don't want it to be a Christmas box. I want to use it for something. Don't know what yet, but... Um, Orla, when I did my, um, okay, when I did my canvases at Christmas with the air dry clay, I, um, gessoed the air dry clay and painted them with acrylic paint. It takes the acrylic paint very well, extremely well. So yeah, I color, I use acrylic paint. So I'm going to stop this recording. Thanks for watching if you were watching online.